So, you might have just read the title and thought, wait, Solus isn't dead? Did it just die today? Well, is this terrible clickbait? Well, this video isn't about the Solus you know today. It's about the predecessor of Solus, Solus OS. Solus OS was a distro made by Ike DeHorty, the same guy who made the other Solus. Confusing, I know. Solus OS was originally based on Debian Squeeze and used the GNOME 2 desktop. It also has a custom menu for GNOME, a custom installer that's easier than stock Debian, and a first run wizard that helps you install non-free drivers for NVIDIA. Eventually, development of Solus OS 2 started. This featured a fork of GNOME 3's classic mode called Consort. Think of Consort as a modern, at the time, version of GNOME 2, similar to what Mate is today. Its UI looked a lot like GNOME 2, but with only one bar in the bottom instead of two bars. It also used a custom file manager called Athena, which is a fork of Nautilus, and a custom window manager called Consortium. Unfortunately, Solus OS 2 never got out of alpha, and I don't have an ISO for it. So if you are interested in Solus OS 2, watch this video put up here. Or if you're on LBRY, I guess there's a YouTube link in the description. Sorry, I'm making you use YouTube. Also, if anybody has an ISO of Solus OS 2.0's alphas, uh, please get in touch with me because I am pretty interested in that and I'd like to take a look at Solus OS 2.0. Alright, so this is Solus' installer. I do have to run this at 720p, but its installer looks nice at least, so uh, you choose your language and then your time zone. I'm going to do Pacific. Los Angeles, um, and then it wants our keyboard, we'll just go for standard America keyboard, uh, and then it wants a swap partition, uh, uh, partitionings in this installer is going to be annoying because you have to use gparted. Alright, it wants our full name, and then our password, which is definitely not Solus, I'm stealing this joke from Tom. What did I just do? And let's log in automatically, because why not? So, yep. And install. Easy. So, it says it's going to take 10 minutes, but uh, I think it's going to be faster given the speed of the progress bar. Alright, so we are in now, and right off the bat, this looks pretty nice. Uh, I don't really like its wallpaper, to be honest. I'm going to change that. This is a better wallpaper, but like its window borders, its taskbar, it looks pretty nice. So this is the custom menu. We have the Solus OS Control Center right here, which looks like this. So let's see, we have personal stuff, uh, look and feel. Let's go to appearance and see what themes are available. So it's using a theme called Eveline Dawn. That's nice. Oh, comp is, is a thing in this. So out of the box, it basically looks like Windows Vista. Uh, there's a second control center. Oh, this takes you to like a settings panel. So. Kind of weird that there's two control panels. Let's see what's pre-installed. So we have Play on Linux pre-installed. So this is kind of like an easy wine manager. Oh, it doesn't even work out of the box, unfortunately. Oh, I guess it does. Okay. What's this messenger? Uh, we have GNU Paint. Uh, this is like a Microsoft Paint clone. Oh, I remember the UI for GNOME Paint being quite different, but I could be wrong. So yeah, basically GNU Paint's like a rip off of Microsoft Paint. We have LibreOffice 3.6, so I think LibreOffice 7 came out recently. Um, we have sound and video. Is this Minitube? So this is supposed to be like a YouTube client. So let's try searching Pizza Loving Nerd. I doubt this is still gonna work, but if it does, that would be impressive. It doesn't work, I don't think. There's an error, but it's in white text and a light background, so I can't read that. Now let's see if there's an about section. I want to see what version of GNOME this is running. Oh, add or remove software. What is this? Uh, I think this is GNOME packages, so... Yeah, this is what you used before the GNOME Software Center, guys. Still want to find out what version of GNOME this is. I'm dying to know. About me, maybe? Um, this is not GNOME stuff. About panels. Oh, here it is. GNOME at least panel, 3.2.30.2. And so when I'm talking about GNOME versions, I'm so used to saying, you know, 
Gnome 3 dot whatever it is. 2003? I wonder if I could pin something to the taskbar. Pin this item. That pins to the start menu. Can I pin it to the taskbar? No, I cannot. This doesn't let you pin stuff to the taskbar. That's kind of annoying. So overall, to be honest, this distro just seems like another Debian respin. It's not really that special, but let's go over to how it died. On October 12th, the Solar Celeste team announced a partnership with Numix. Only four days later, Ike DeHorty announced that the Solus OS project will be dead. He attributed this to the fact that it evolved into an independent distribution without a large enough team to be independent. Ike DeHorty was also unemployed for a long time, and DeHorty finally got a good job. So, with this new job, he had less time to work on Solus OS and ultimately pulled the plug. Luckily, in 2015, Evolve OS was born, which was a continuation of Solus OS. Evolve OS used the custom Budgie desktop, which is well known today as being a desktop with the perfect balance of modern and traditional uh, desktop philosophies, I guess. Evolve OS eventually got renamed and evolved, if you will, into the Solus that we know and love today. So, this is a distro that actually kind of came back in the long run with Solus. Thanks for watching this video, thanks to my amazing patrons, Mitchell Vantino, Sam Covet, Jim Peter, Jonathan Reynolds, and Ashton Scott Snap. The support really helps, and also if you are on LBRY, please leave a tip. See you guys.